So I've seen these really cute shoes on Etsy for upwards to $150 to $200, but I thought I would make them instead. They're actually quite easy to make. Um, save yourself a lot of money. I got the shoes at Famous Footwear for, I got two pairs for $67. It was the tax-free weekend. Um, buy one, get one half off, and then I had a coupon. So $67 for two pair of shoes. So I already did this one. I'm going to show you guys on this pair. Super cute. It's a little white swoosh. How to make them. But first we're gonna go over supplies. Okay, your E600, um, excuse me, E6000. You're gonna want the clear, um, and this is actually um, washable. You can use it on fabric, you can use it on leather, lots of different things you can use on. And I think I paid like $5 for this big tube at Michael's. Um, this will make your life easier. It's Crystal FX Positioner. It's $2.99 at Hobby Lobby. Um, it's just a wax pencil. Um, that makes it easier to pick up your um, stones. You'll see that in a little bit. Um, however you say this, Swarovski crystals. Don't skimp on this crystals because you want them to last. I got these on Amazon for, I think it was $6.50 per package and you are going to want at least three packages for two swishes and that's the size that I have currently. Um, you can probably get by with two but I like it nice and full. There's a couple areas that you're going to want the smaller crystals. These are the three millimeter ones. You're gonna want some smaller crystals. I got this at Michael's. I think I paid $10 for it, but there's a lot of little crystals in there. I believe there's some that are one millimeter, two millimeters. But you wanna make sure that you get the glue down type there because they are, are the heat FX ones that um, you can also use. You are going to start by squeezing some of your E6000 into a little cup of your choice. Grab your toothpick. You just kind of rub it on. You want to do small spots. The E6000 can take 24 to 48 hours to dry, but it gets tacky pretty quick. So I like to do a soft mall area first. So I'm gonna grab your rhinestones. I prefer to dump mine. Grab your wax pencil. See how easy that picked up. Now this does dry clear. I did get it a little heavy in that spot. That's okay. It'll dry fine. Get them nice and close together. And you are just going to keep going and fill them in. I don't like them to overhang, so I kind of push them in a little bit. You may have to grab a smaller stone, which is why you bought those. You may have to grab a smaller stone for that. You want to just do small areas and just keep adding. So 
small amounts of the E6000. Really doesn't take that long per shoe. I would guess, I would guess I spent about 30 minutes, maybe. Per shoe. But as you can see, it goes pretty quick. drop that one but that's okay. I always slide it. I'm not a fan of sliding them because it bunches up the glue. Also, one thing that I have found that helps when applying the glue is to apply it in like circular motion to kind of pull it out because you want thin coats or you can just kind of wipe it down. You'll find what works best for you. As you're going along, you might get running to a spot um, like this little guy right here. That's why you bought the small one, the small stones. You just drop it in. I tend to wait until I am done with my project and then go back and fill in spots where I feel like I needed more stones. As you get more towards the end, just keep in mind that that's where your little stones are going to come in to help you out. Grab my, grab my little stones. You just want to keep working until you get it all filled in. I really like this um, variety pack that I picked up at Michael's of the Savarsky Crystals. And then I'm just going to keep going and filling in all these little spots until I'm done. And there we have it. It is supposed to have at least a 24 hour dry time, if not 72 hours. Love it. Looks great on the black.